Part two to add in golf specific rotation to your workouts and today we need a kettlebell. We're working through the new golf specifics element on the golf wood app that allows you short golf focused fitness to add on to any training program. In part one, we looked at bands and how to increase your rotation as well as your stability for awesome consistency in your swing. Today, we're gonna load those patterns, build on that momentum and bring even more effortless power as well as longevity to your golf game. Set one is all about balance and asymmetry. So asymmetry is where one side of the body is doing different to the other side, and that's exactly what happens in your golf swing. So understanding that and training that is huge for your progress now and into the future. This set, we are gonna work with a single kettlebell, and in terms of load, grab a weight that you can move extremely well for awesome joint integrity and full activation of the muscle. Movement number one is the single arm seated press. So take a seated position, ideally on the floor, so we have to really activate our posture and get into a good position. You will then rack the kettlebell, knuckles into your chin before you press and create a full range of motion overhead. Return back into that racked position, hit reps on both sides and make sure that your spine and your posture does not change at all as you activate the core and stay in a great position. Movement number two is the single leg RDL. So this is the Romanian deadlift and we're working across the body for balance and proprioception. Okay, so here you will hinge at the hip and hold the kettlebell in the opposing arm of the leg that is attached to the ground. Hinge at the hips or push the hips back with a slight bend of the knee. Use your upper body to create the balance and center of gravity needed to complete the hinge. And when you get to that end range of motion and the hamstring is firing, fire the glute, stand up tall, and then repeat this motion on both sides of the body with excellent form every single rep. And we finish out this set with the Russian twist. Here, we can do this with or without load, and it's about maintaining posture and spinal positioning whilst rotating and activating the core. So you can take the feet off the ground if possible. If not, leave them attached. And from here, you will rotate the upper body, touching either side of the ground as you work around the spine and create a fired up, golf-specific core exercise. After we've built on that stability for round one, round two is gonna focus on using your body to create force and rotation. We're gonna combine movement number one, which is the push-up into cross-body mountain climb. Upper body strength to follow on from the press from set one, and then massive core activation with rotation through the hips with that cross-body mountain climb. So hit the full range push-up, and as you extend at the top, you'll drive your right knee through towards your left shoulder, and then your left knee through towards your right shoulder, before in another push-up, and then back into the mountain climber to really fire up the whole body. Movement number two is the single leg rotational jump. Here, we build on what we saw in part one, which was the lateral bound, and we create torque and pressure through the feet to create those ground force reactions, we are then gonna accelerate with everything we have and rotate 90 degrees in the air to land with two feet and in awesome balance. Make sure you work both sides of the body, make sure you use proprioception and the mechanics of the foot to create awesome stability and execute this at exactly your level to get the biggest level of golf games. Our final part is all about rotation. We're gonna load the pattern and then we're gonna max it out with mechanics that are gonna phase straight into your golf swing and help you hit it better. Movement number one is the rotational kettlebell swing. Here, we're gonna work around the body, ensuring that we load the hips as well as rotate the hips to use the ground and effectively move that load. So, as you then rotate, you're gonna push against the ground, you're gonna fire through the core, and you're gonna raise that kettlebell in a rotational pattern up just above eye level. Again, effective load in the joints is huge. Make sure you use the ground, make sure you work both sides. Movement number two, 
is the golf posture power rotation. So here you're gonna place a club across your shoulders, you're gonna get set into your golf posture, you are then gonna elevate, rotate and load before you squat, press and get that power trifecta, lateral, rotational and vertical. So really do squat into the ground, rotate the hips, peak up for max speed and turn to the target whilst also working on both sides so you get all the benefits of acceleration and deceleration build an athletic, effortless, powerful golf swing. Part one was 15 minutes. Part two right here is gonna take you 20 minutes or less. And yes, it is for you. It's for all golfers because you work these movements to your level and progress over time. So no more excuses, no more thinking that golfers don't need to train because if you are not doing things like this in time, you're gonna get worn down and you're not gonna be the golfer that you want to be. You're also gonna have aches and pains off the course and that ain't good guys, all right? So start small, start with these easy sets, track it with the golf fitness handicap so you know exactly where you're headed to and you maintain that motivation and then experience everything that we have to offer guys all right that's better golf that's better health that's better fitness and that's what you should be focusing on all right so go ahead get your free trial on the golf what app let's get started before we hit 2023 so you can have the best 2023 possible like subscribe tell your friends and golf strong